these are the Euclid axioms and postulates. Axioms. axioms, things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. If equals are added to equals, the whole has equals. If equals be subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. The whole is greater than the part. That divides, uh, divides the uh, straight length from any point to another point to press uh, a uh, straight line continuously into straight length. Then to describe a circle with any uh, center and distance that all right angles are equal to one another. Uh, good morning. Today we are here to present our essay and it's a chart work. And our topic is lines and angles. And under lines and angles, we've taken the subtopic angles and property of a triangle. And we have Bilal uh, here to explain about the four triangles. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, four types of triangles. One is the equilateral triangle, one is the scalar triangle, one is the isosceles triangle, and one is the right angle, uh, right, uh, right angle triangle. In the equilateral triangle, all sides and all angles are equal. Uh, and in the isosceles triangle, uh, in the isosceles triangle, all, uh, two angles are equal. Uh, in the right angle triangle, the uh, one of the angle is uh, always 90 degrees. And in the scalar triangle, uh, in the scalar triangle, uh, it can all angles and sides can, uh, sides can vary. Uh, we have Marika to tell us the theorem. The theorem of the tra angles and property of triangle is uh, that all the uh, the sum of all immediate angles is equal to 180 degrees. Now we have Aniket who will tell us the proof of the theorem. The proof of the theorem is that first we should draw a straight line PQ which is parallel to BC. Then we should mark the three uh, angles, angle BAC, angle PAB and angle CAD which, which equals to 180 degrees. Then angle PAB is equal to angle ABC as they are alternate angles and angle CAQ is equal to angle ABC as they are alternate angles. Angle PAB plus angle BAC plus angle CAD is equal to 180 degrees. Angle PAB is equal to angle, angle ABC and angle CAQ is equal to angle ACB. Uh, now we have Suraj to the state of the activity. Okay, yeah. Here is an activity to verify that the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. We cut out the triangle and cut the three angles and we uh, point out the vertex and we draw a straight line and the straight line is equal to 180 degrees and when we place the three angles on the straight line we observe that the uh, three cutouts uh, when placed adjacent to each other form 180 degrees. This was our presentation. Thank you. Good morning. This is Akshat and, and the topic is parallel line and a transversal. And the group members are Vamsi, Shubham, Maishal Kusama, Vinod and Sharik. And now, uh, uh, we know this is going to tell you the axiom, the two axioms. If I transfer the intersects two parallel lines, then the, then the corresponding angles are equal. And it is also called as corresponding angle axiom. If a transversal intersects two lines such that the, the pair of corresponding angles are equal, then the two lines are parallel to each other. Now, Shivam is going to tell you the theorem, uh, the two, two, two theorems. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the uh, e then each pair of the alternative alternative interior angle is equal. Theorem uh, second theorem. Uh, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines such that alternative interior angles are equal to the lines are parallel. Now Sharik is going to uh, tell you the third theorem. If a if a transversal intersects two pa parallel lines, each pair. And the each pair of uh, interior angles is uh, on the same side of transversal is supplementary. And the fourth theorem, uh, theor if a transversal, transversal inter inter intersects two lines such that pair of interior angles is supplementary, then the, line is, then the lines are parallel to each other. Okay. And one more thing is the angle between parallel lines is zero. Transversal intersects two parallel lines 
when each pair of inter interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. You might be wondering what transversal and parallel lines are. Two lines on the same plane that do not intersect are called parallel lines. Any line that intersects two other lines on the same plane are called transversal. What is a transversal? This is a transversal. It consists of three main subheadings corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and alternate exterior angles. So, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles. And the angles on the same spot, when you slide up and down, the transversal lie on the same plane. And the fact that they all are congruent, alternate interior angle are angle 3 and angle 5 between the two parallel lines and the fact that uh, the angles over here are congruent, alternate exterior angles, angle 1 and angle 7, angle 2 and angle 8, uh, they, uh, they lie on the outside, uh, they lie outside 